The Bitcoin price has just broken through $7,000 US dollars and already rocketed up to $7,350. My goodness, congratulations everyone. Where do we go to from here? That is the big question. Hey there everyone, this is Joe in general, your resident reason and evidence enthusiast. It's your weekly Bitcoin price analysis update. It is Thursday, the 2nd of November, 2017. Now to my regular subscribers, all 6,295 of you, welcome to the newbies that have come on board just recently. To my regular subscribers, Subscribers, my apologies. I know I haven't done a video in about a week and a half. That is unusual for me. A lot of stuff going on in the Joe in general household. Been really, really busy. But uh, now is the time. I could have done one yesterday, but I saw that the price was creeping up to seven thousand dollars. So I wanted to wait till it hit just over that mark, and then I could make the hey seven thousand dollars. Woohoo! Congratulations, everyone. Uh, where to from here? So that's the reason for doing the video today. So we've just broken through. Uh, we've topped out at $7,354.10 so far, and we've had a bit of a retracement just happened, just happened. As you can see right here, it's still happening. Uh, we've come all the way back down we, to, uh, where are we? A price of $6,900 roughly. That is a huge dip in a very small amount of time. Uh, but as you can see, we broke through $7,000 not that long ago, maybe about an hour ago, roughly. Um, and uh, all the way, as I said, a quick run up to that $7,354 level. So the question is, where to from here? Um, now, in my video from a few weeks ago, um, I made a this video here called Next Stop 7000 question mark. And that was suggesting that $7,000 could potentially, just potentially, be the next major level of resistance uh, topping out at that price, around about that price that is, you know, 6,800, 7,000, a little bit above, um, before we see a large retracement of between 30 to 40% dip from there. And that was based on uh, the technical analysis from back then, you know, based on the price it was then and all the technicals back then. Um, and quickly to touch upon that video, that was based upon uh, this uh, chart right here. Now, this is the Bitstamp Exchange price, as this is also the Bitstamp Exchange price. It's just two different websites, okay? Um, and it's the price in US dollars, as I always say. So this is the longer term time frame. This is the weekly time frame right here. It's the tradingview.com website. And this is the linear Fibonacci extension tool. So I took the old high here of 11.63 and the old low of $152.40 and you pop in the high and the low and it gives you these extension points. Now what you may see, a little bit of, little bit of a pattern that's been playing out um, in this current bull run, but after breaking through this high of 11.63, we had that little dip back down. But um, what happened is was we sailed right through the 1.618 uh, linear Fibonacci point, extension points, usually a key level. Uh, I don't think it hit that, I think it didn't stop at that level because we had that little rise above here, as you can see right here, and that quick dip back down. Now I think because of that reason, it just sailed past that. It, it was uh, topping out here would have been too small of a rise. That's why I think it, it sailed all the way through to the 2.618 level, as you can see right here, kind of hovered, topped out around about that price. It did pierce a little bit above it, uh, but as you can see, it topped out around about that level of the 2.618, that was about your $3,000 level roughly. And we had a retracement all the way back down to, funnily enough, the 1.618 Fibonacci level. Then we had another large rise, again on the weekly time frame to uh, the 4.236 Fibonacci level of $4,430, uh, $4, roughly. And we actually pierced above. This is when we came up to the $4,980 level. So it's a little bit of a pierce above that 4.236 level. And again, a significant retracement back down uh, to this old high here, which was again sort of hovering around the 2.618 level. So come up to a significant Fibonacci level, retrace back down to the previous Fibonacci level, come up to another significant Fibonacci level, hover around it, maybe pierce a little bit above, and then come back down uh, to around about the, the uh, lower Fibonacci level. So the question, well, not the question, I was suggesting that could this pattern play out again, where we come back up, we come up all the way through here, break that old high of 5,000, come up to the next significant Fibonacci level, and that happens to be this one right here, the 
at $7,000 roughly. Technically, it was $7,079, but you could comfortably call it, you know, $6,800, $6,850, $69, $7,000, and even a pierce above it. I would, I would reckon it could come up anywhere up to, say, $7,500. Uh, around about this level before we see again, just like here and just like here, a retracement of, you know, 30 to 40 percent or back down to its previous high. So that's why I suggested in this video right here, this could be the next significant level. We're right here right now. We've topped out all the way, as I said, $7,350. And we've already retraced back down to under the $7,000 mark, $6,939, right now. Could this be the time where we now come back all the way back down to $5,000 close to or even $4,500 very briefly, um, just like here and just like here? Yes, that could potentially happen. So that's why I talked about that level in this video. So on balance of probability, if, um, if uh, the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior, if the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior, where we see uh, this, like this pattern here and this pattern here, on balance of probability, that's the most likely scenario, in my opinion, to occur. Doesn't mean it's 100%, doesn't even mean it's, you know, 80%, but you know, more likely than not, more than a 50% chance. Okay, uh, so let's see how the um, how the price plays out in the next 24 to 48 hours. So that could be so just be aware that this could be the top out level before a significant retracement doesn't mean that's going to happen, though, because about a week later, after making this video, I made this one here entitled 5800, what's next? Now I suggested a higher price than the $7,000 level to become the significant level of resistance before that 30 to 40% uh, retracement. And that level was $8,228.70. That's a very specific level, and I'll tell you exactly why. We'll go back to the BitcoinWisdom.com website. Uh, we'll do it on the daily time frame right here. And again, it's a, a Fibonacci a linear Fibonacci extension, um, but instead of an old high of 11.63 and that old low of 152.40, it's this recent high of 49.80 and this low here of 29.72. Now, interestingly. What you might notice when I pop zoom in a little bit further, there's your 49.80, there's your low of 29.72. We did come up to the 1.618 level of $6,220, and it became a small level of resistance. And we did retrace back down to the bottom end of this trend channel. Isn't that interesting? Um, this trend channel right here, my subscribers are very familiar with these trend channels. I won't go into detail about what they are, but what you'll notice is that uh, this old rise right here uh, come up to eh, sort of close to it and sort of close to the bottom end here. But this one in particular, when we rose up, bang, straight on that uh, top end of this trend channel and then retraced all the way back down to the bottom end of the trend channel. I had drawn in this uh, top end of the trend channel way before the price ever got to that price. So it did come up to there and then back down to there. Then when the price was starting to rise up above here, I drew in this uh, top end of the trend channel now. Um, but if we have a look right here, now I need to put this on the max setting and it's going to be a bit annoying because it's going to jump up and down. You'll see what happens in a minute. But here is the, uh, where are we? Here is the high of 49.80 and that low of, yep, there we go, it just jumped. Sorry, it just jumps up and down the bitcoinwisdom.com. As the price moves up and down, so does uh, so does the uh, this chart right here. It's really annoying. But here's the high and the low of 29.72. And you've got this, ah, that is so annoying. Sorry, guys. It's really, really, really annoying. I apologize. Um, you've got this 2.618 uh, Fibonacci level of 8,228 right now there. Interestingly, the, the price has just dropped back down to, geez, we're sailing back down 6,850 right now. Hmm, that's interesting. But I did suggest because uh, of this uh, 2.618 Fibonacci level of 8,228, that could potentially be the next significant level instead of that $7,000 level But before we see a 30 to 40% retracement. Um, but uh, look, we're 6,800 right now. Interesting. This could be the point where we, where we come down. We're kind of what I'm watching this live as we go. But let's keep talking about that 
$8,200 level because I did talk about it previously. Um, as I said, it, it tops out around about there. Now you'll notice right here, uh, that's pretty close, pretty darn close to the top end of this trend channel. So I also did mention the top end of this trend channel that this could also be the next uh, level that it hits before that significant retracement because let me just put this not on the max setting so it uh, doesn't jump up and down. As you can see, as I mentioned before, come up, come back down, particularly here, all the way up to the top end of the trend channel, all the way back down. If it plays out like that, then what you might see is the price coming all the way up to the top end of this trend channel, uh, where it, what the price is, where it hits, I don't know, depends when it hits the top end. And then that's when we may see that significant retracement all the way back down close to the bottom end of this trend channel, or maybe even this micro trend line, which I've been talking about quite a lot right here. It could even rise up to the top end of this trend channel, possibly even pierce above it as well, and then back down. So that was the second scenario that I was talking about. Um, there is a third scenario that I've been thinking of uh, that I have not mentioned. I didn't mention in, the, in this video right here. I've just been thinking about it recently. I'm not going to mention what that is right now because I just do want to see where the price goes from here after uh, making this little this high right now of uh, 7,350. As you can see already, already when I get rid of that, put that back on the 5%, already we've come back down to six, what are we, 6,700. Wow, a quick rise, a quick bust through 7,000, all the way up to 73.50, and a massive dip down to uh, 6,700. Interesting. Uh, we need to watch this play out before I talk about that third potential level, because this could potentially be happening right now where we see that large dip down to 5,000 only potentially, uh, but we'll just see where this price goes. We could potentially just see the price retrace back down to maybe even the uh, 63, 62, $6,000 level, and then we just continue on our way up from there. But those are the most likely scenarios. As I said, this one right here, hovering, topping out around about this 7,000-ish kind of level and having that retracement back down to the old high of 5,000. Um, and that a second level that I said of 8,200 or possibly coming up to the top end of the trend channel. Where that hits, I don't know. Just depends when it hits it. Pardon me. And potentially that third level, which I'm not going to talk about yet because I am going to see where the price goes in the next 24 to 48 hours. So I just want to make a quick video to say, hey, congratulations, everyone. We've broken through 7,000. Um, but we'll see where the price goes from here. Of course, I will update you much sooner than a week. I think I'm definitely going to do an in-between video um, in between my weekly Bitcoin price analysis. I'll probably do another update really soon, probably 24 to 48 hours from now, just to see what plays out within this price, whether we have that large dip or not. That's it, guys. I will keep you updated, of course. If you want to stay updated with the Bitcoin price and all the other stuff, uh, initial coin offerings, uh, all that other, all that other kind of crypto stuff, hit the bid, big red subscribe button right here. Six thousand two hundred ninety-five subscribers, as I said before. Maybe you can become one of them and join the family. Thanks, gang. Stay safe. Stay informed. Speak soon.